Next, number three. Number three is to identify. Identify. Business owners primarily enjoy doing business with, wait for it, other business owners. That's who they want to talk to. They want to talk to other business owners. Why? Because that's somebody they identify with and we trust people that we identify with. Okay? There are things in your life that are unique to you and when you meet somebody who shares that uniqueness, you have a natural trust built up with that person before you even really talk to them at all. It's just as soon as you find out that information about them and you're like, wow, that person does this. It's like, okay, I can identify with them and I'm going to trust them. And so you say, well, how do I do that? The way you do that is you need to stop looking at yourself as a sales pro- salesperson. You need to become a business owner. Read business books. Okay. Learn things about business. Read books on, you know, bookkeeping, marketing, uh, you know, employee relations, retailing, how to run a restaurant. There are industry magazines you can get on pizza shops and become a small business expert. Learn about small business and you'll be able to identify. Also, um, I talked about this in a recent podcast episode. You want to grow your vision, have a bigger vision. Talk about not just I'm out here, I'm out here selling for XYZ processing company and I hope you'll buy from me. No. You say, hey, you know what? I'm a young businessman. I just started in the community. I'm looking to become much larger. I want to hire people. I want to build a big office right now. I'm just a one man show. Uh, What tips do you have for me about building a business here in the local community? and ask questions like that. And what that does is that shares information about you, that you're a business owner, talk about your vendor relations, talk about how you've been able to cut costs, whatever it is. Again, don't overshare this entire information sharing thing um, and identifying and all that. This whole process takes like a minute or two. It's not like this long drawn out conversation. Uh, It can be, but usually it lasts a couple minutes. It's just, you ask them some questions, they say something back, you share a little information, you talk about how you're a business owner, they identify with you, and then you move on to the presentation, okay? Now, one last thing I wanna give you, and I actually didn't share this on uh, Snapchat, which is where I originally posted this content, um, is that what you wanna do, the fourth thing is, you want to make sure you are validating yourself with others validating yourself with others. Now, this is something I think new salespeople really miss out on it. And it's a shame that they do that because um, you can't, you have to be validated by outside sources. And you might say, well, you know, I'm new. I don't have any other clients. What am I going to do? I can't go in there and say, hey, my, I have all these clients because I don't have these clients. That's okay. You don't have to have that. What you have to have is somebody else who trusts you. Okay. Who else trusts you? Hopefully somebody, right? Your previous boss, maybe? Did you do a good job at that? You know, have they written you a LinkedIn recommendation? Okay, print that LinkedIn recommendation out and hand it to people when you walk into the business, you know? And talk to them about that. You know, hey, I'm, uh, you know, I'm all about honesty and integrity. Here's a recommendation from my last boss. Maybe it's your pastor. Uh, maybe it is your, you know, whatever, a business associate that you have. Doesn't matter. You've got to get some people who recommend you And again, the idea is validating trust by saying, I am trustworthy because this other person trusts me and so should you. And so if you want to build trust, you've got to validate. So if you say, James, I feel like I'm the most likable person. You know, I'm out there in my marketplace. Everybody loves me, but nobody is buying from me. I'm not closing any deals. Well, first of all, I would say, are you closing? Are you trying to close for sure? Or are you letting people off the hook? But if you're trying to close and then they're backing away, no, 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 I'm not interested or whatever. Ask yourself a couple questions about trust. Are you sharing information? Are they sharing information? Cause you're asking insightful questions. Are you identifying with them by becoming a small business expert? And are you validating yourself by at least being able to mention or show some type of proof that other people trust you? That's four ways that you can get prospects to trust you more and to take action that you want them to take. My name is James Shepard. Hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us online, ccsalespro.com. We would love to have you join our sales team. We've got a very, we have an incredible sales team, technology solutions that are constantly evolving and growing that are amazing. And we're really excited about the future at our company. Come check us out, ccsalespro.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.